Ohio is a home to around 300,000 horses and nearly 200,000 horse people. Today, we're going to learn what's important to them and why the horse industry is important to all of us. That's our subject this week on Town Hall Ohio. We are talking about the multi-billion dollar horse industry in Ohio. Our guests include Dave White of the Ohio Farm Bureau, Brock Schmaltz of the Ohio Equine Industry Coalition that is brand new in Ohio. And we're very privileged to have with us the director of the Ohio Department of Agriculture, Robert Boggs. We started down this path and we want to go there right away because it's probably one of the most significant issues affecting uh, the equine industry in Ohio, and that is uh, the racing industry and its decline. Director Boggs, we've got about 30 seconds yeah. here before mm-hmm. we go to a break. We just want to start this and then we'll come back after the commercial, but but give me your assessment in brief of, of the state of the equine industry as relates to racing in Ohio. And I think it's important to, to do exactly that. Um, a lot of the industry is very fine, as as was mentioned in the quarter horse part of the equine industry. It's going along very, very well. The recreational and the leisure horse uh, th- that seems to be going well as th- is the 4-H program in the state. Uh, but th- the one area that begs of attention is that in the standard bred industry and, and helping us uh, resurrect that uh, that activity, which was among the finest in the world at one time. Among the finest in the world, you say it needs to be resurrected. That means we've got problems. We'll find out what those problems are, what maybe some of the solutions will be as we continue our discussion of Ohio's equine industry right after this. So before we went to break, you were telling us that the standard bred industry, that's the racing horses in Ohio, that industry is facing challenges. Tell yeah. us more, please. Horse racing has been on a steady decline since approximately 1950. Uh, it now competes with other spectator sports, uh, such as football, baseball, and basketball, that quite frankly were new, were more appealing to a new medium that came out in 1950 called television. Well, it's it's just simply a matter of economics. Uh, I'm from Ashtabula County. We have a lot of 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 uh, people who raise uh, standard bred in in my county that used to race them in Cleveland at Northfield Park. Uh, because of the gambling casinos in Erie, Pennsylvania, just uh, about 35 miles away from the from Ashtabula County, and, and the purses there are about three or four times higher uh, than what they are in in Northfield. And as a result, it's the migration of the animals, the trainers, all the activity away from our state to uh, to Pennsylvania on that side of the uh, of the state, Indiana. Almost every surrounding state has some sort of casino or uh, gambling activity. And I'm not here endorsing gambling. I'm just saying people want to know what the problem is. It's economics as a result of the development of the gambling industry in states surrounding Ohio. So people are more willing to go to a track where they can play the slots or video poker than they are where they can only bet on horses. I I think the the impact on the horse uh, industry is because of that activity, the, the pots for the races, the horse races, are so much higher in these other states that our people are migrating, our trainers, our, 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 our horses, uh, all the associated industry is, is migrating to those states. And so the racetrack owners then can pay more? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I found some statistics on that. It says the average purse for a race in Ohio in, in the most recent year reported uh, was thirty six forty nine, three thousand six hundred forty nine dollars The average purse for a race conducted at a track that has expanded gaming is fourteen thousand seven hundred and sixty one dollars uh, brock is is the is the simple solution to allow gaming at racetracks in ohio i i don't know that i can sit here and say that that's the the simple solution but i can definitely agree with the director that that is the simple problem it's it's simply a matter of of, of competition and the tracks and and the horsemen here in ohio are just simply not on a uh, level playing field because they cannot offer uh, the draws to the racetracks, which certainly does bring additional people in, but more importantly, uh, funds the purses, as you mentioned, which which are higher. And those numbers that you uh, threw out there on the $3,000 average purse here in Ohio and, and the 14000 I believe, uh, outside, those are specific um, to, to standard breads. And I did want to mention that, uh, obviously, the, the harness 
uh, industry here in Ohio is is in is in bad shape, and it's the one that's the most visible here, specifically in Ohio, because of the county fair tie-in. The, these um, are the ones with the, the sulkies behind yes, the carts. Yes, sulkies, okay. carts, uh, and, and the drivers, not jockeys, drivers um, in, in the carts. Uh, Little Brown Jug, obviously, is a harness race, and, and there's a, a, a deep standard bread and harness tradition here in Ohio. That said, there are also three thoroughbred tracks here in the state, um, Beulah Park, Thistledown, and, and River Downs down in Cincinnati, basically one in, in all three of the major cities. Um, and they're certain Certainly not doing any better, I can tell you that. And um, just to put some numbers to that, you know, uh, Beulah Park right here in Columbus, their daily average purses are, are somewhere south of $50,000. You go across the border to Erie, Pennsylvania, Prescott Isle Downs, and, and they're giving out almost two hundred and fifty, two hundred and seventy thousand dollars $270,000 a day in purses. So that's not that's an enormous jump. Um, but they're a new track. You know, you can almost, they're a tourist destination. You can almost say that. Well, Mountaineer Park, with all due respect to the people at Mountaineer, was not known historically as, as one of the gems of thoroughbred racing. And they're now giving out um, about $150,000 a day, so over three times as much as is, is Beulah Park, and they've done a tremendous job down there with improving their their racing product. But but obviously the benefit that they have is is both slot machines and now table games. And, and people should remember uh, when they think of horse racing, they think of these rich Kentucky Derby type families. You know, so what's a few dollars mean? The majority of people in Ohio that are that are involved in this industry are just average farmers who who have a few horses. Uh, they they love the sport. They lo- they love their horses, and so the just the shift of a few thousand dollars is going to mean a lot to these people because they don't make a lot of money at, at this business. They do it for the love of the sport for the most part. And hey. not only that, but I, I think, you know, Director, you hit on this a little bit earlier and Dave, you as well. Um, you know, not only is, is equine just a component of the agricultural continuum of Ohio and, and racing is certainly a part of that, but once a segment of that begins yeah. to suffer, it really trickles down, and and um, you know the the racing industry here in Ohio is at a it, it's at a crisis point. It's, it, it absolutely is. There's no question, um, and there are other segments that are doing well, but they're beginning to feel the pinch, and right. it's going to come in terms of veterinarians not being right. able to find as much work. Um, you know, people that farmers that that actually grow the hay that is normally consumed by horses that are normally in Ohio that are now leaving due to larger purses. Um, truck and trailer manufacturers and and retailers. Um, um, you know, the, this is, is such a major industry here in Ohio that the impact is going to be felt throughout not only the equine world, but the agricultural world. Absolutely. Uh, just real quick, Dave White, Ohio Farm Bureau, where, where do we sit in this whole issue of, of, of gaming at casinos? We are neutral, Joe. Uh, and uh, we need or to have race a, tracks. I meant okay. to say, of course. Well, yeah, same thing. Uh, you know, we are neutral on it. We don't have a policy to support it, nor a policy that opposes it. Uh, but our county farm bureaus are currently in their policy development process. Typically, we see through that process uh, various proposals on both sides of the issues. Uh, and I have family that lives in, in, in one of the states next door, Indiana. And when they didn't go to the Shelbyville Racetrack, which is new over there, okay, to watch horse racing. They went to play the slots.